Hey r and Beers, we have another great video for you today. It's an update video, but it's not a collection tour. We're almost done that pretty much. But remember back at Christmas time, we said we were giving away a snake just randomly to somebody that we knew was new to the industry. Uh, so yeah, let's update you on that. Stay tuned. <laughs> So we wanted to give away an animal to get someone into a project and I know that there's a bunch of people that are new to the industry. We met a guy in Tinley back in March and uh, him and his wife and their daughter just got into breeding ball pythons and uh, they seem pretty cool. So we wanted to give them a little, you know, helping hand and get, you know, build that excitement and that passion. So we sent them out an Arroyo Mail and uh, that gets him into the Arroyo project. He did buy a couple of pretty impressive animals to start his collection. So let's cut over to Derek from Keeley's Morphs and he'll show you the unboxing. Hi Ben, hey Ryan, hope you guys are doing well. Derek Keeley here with Keeley's Morphs. Huge, huge thank you to allowing me to be on one of your YouTube videos. Again, this is gonna be a first ever for me. I've never been on a YouTube video. Um, New in the hobby, me, my wife, my daughter, the three founders of Killy's Morphs. I got my beautiful wife holding the camera behind you. Hopefully you see behind me here, there's a door with some streamers here. That's my daughter's room, 12 years old as of Thursday. Um, one who got me into this hobby, uh, hoping to catch her off guard here a little bit. Hopefully she'll wake up, she can hear us. Fingers crossed she comes out, we can catch her off guard, surprise her. Um, but today you would ask me to send you a video, an unboxing video of a snake that you sent us. Uh, you sent us a snake, you didn't give me any information other than you were sending us a snake. And it's all the information Ben gave me when he reached out to me. Um, went to the FedEx hub, picked him up, opened up the box, made sure the snake was okay, brought him home, got him out, and here we are making this video. Little did I know at FedEx when I opened up the box, I didn't know what it was. When I got home, we opened up the box here, and it turns out you guys were gracious enough to send us a male Arroyo. Uh, this snake is absolutely beautiful. As you see, a little bit timid, I don't blame him. Beautiful belly, I love that patterning all on the sides. We got the blushing coming up. Uh, ben did tell me that there's a possibility of this being a real, which is the super of an Arroyo. Uh, just by holding this guy, I'm going to say he's going to be ready to breed here soon. He feels like he's pretty close to, I'm going to say 500 grams. He might even be pushing 600. I'm not sure. I'll have to get him on a scale and weigh him. Beautiful snake though. Unlike any I have in my collection, um, in regards to patterning. I just love the white blushing how it's coming up the sides. Um, if this does prove out to be a super, I'll be ecstatic. Um, a little history behind me and Ben. We... We had the privilege of meeting each other out in uh, Tinley back in March. Uh, some of you have called it the Tinley Underground, you know, because NARBC was canceled, so we just hung out in the hotel all weekend. Uh, ben and Ryan came out, hung out at the bar for a little while, got to know those guys, they got to know us. Uh, unfortunately, I don't believe Haley was with us that night. It was just me and my beautiful wife, Jen. Uh, but we hung out at the bar, had a few drinks that night, and Basically just shared stories about snakes and breeding. Uh, this is actually our first season in breeding ball pythons. Um, the only real project that we have going on right now is a pastel sunset to a pewter. Uh, I do have a couple females coming up for this guy. Uh, I do have a banana, female banana, and a female lesser. I'll probably put him to just to hopefully prove out if he's a super or not. As you all know, if everything comes out of Royal, he'll be a Rio. Uh, another thing that Ben wanted me to update you guys on is we also had a huge purchase this last year from Miguel at Always Evolving Pythons. We purchased a 1.1 Enchi Double Hat Sunset Desert Ghost off of Miguel. A lot of people showed interest in that uh, project when he put that on Morph Market. We were able to pick it up from him and we currently have them being raised up in our collection. The male, I believe, is about 700 grams. The female's coming up to about 900 grams, so hopefully they'll both be ready by next season. Uh, definitely helping to prove those two out. Uh, I know the wife, when she first started doing her own research on ball pythons, she fell in love with the Sunset Project. Me, I fell in love with the Desert Ghosts Project. Sorry about that. 
little history behind Achilles Morse and how we did actually get started. My daughter, when she was nine years old, started doing her own research on ball pythons. I had no idea what a ball python was at that time. She started doing her own research, did a solid year, came up to me, asked me if she could have one. I said, no problem. Only if she held it. We went, took a look at some ball pythons. She wouldn't hold it. So I kept my promise that I wouldn't get her until she held one. She did a full another year of research, said that she was ready. We made a trip out to our local reptile show out here, Scott Smith's All Animal Expo. Got to give him a shout out. Uh, go see him twice a month at, actually, at their shows. Walked up to the first ball python breeder at the table there. She reached right in and grabbed herself a pie and held it. I was in shock, disbelief, uh, but I held my promise. We walked around the rest of the show, grabbed the stuff that we needed for a male Mojave, because I didn't know the genes, I didn't know what the difference was, and well, pie at that time was just way too expensive for my taste. Brought it home, started doing our own research, started realizing how to take care of these ball pythons, what they eat, how to feed them, how to take care of them, how to raise them. And then I started seeing all the different patterns and the morphs and the genes and how they all affect each other. And it's just, it grew on me. It's more like an art than it is a hobby. And I absolutely love it. Uh, seeing all the different designs that you can basically make using these beautiful animals. But yeah, we bought our first male Mojave last year and we just grew from there. We invested a lot of money into our collection and hoping to keep growing and enjoy this hobby, all three of us as a family. Uh, again, I just want to say thank you to Ryan and Ben for this opportunity to get us into this project. Uh, like I said, I do have two females that are coming up that he'll be ready for. I can't thank you enough. Thank you, Ryan and Ben. Take care. So Darren Keeley, awesome guy. Uh, really excited to, that he's able to start working into the Arroyo project. We want to build some passion around the Arroyo project. So let me show you guys some of our Arroyo stuff so you guys can understand it a little bit better. This is a Super GHI Arroyo. Now we just produced this um, this past year and Super GHIs are a little bit darker than this normally. Um, you can see the alien heads here. You can also see if it might be a little hard to see on the camera, but some of the alien heads are starting to have the um, bicep, you know, building or like almost like a heart, um, which I think is something that we look for in a GHI Arroyo. Um, the hooking obviously happens with Super GHIs, but not usually as, like, it just doesn't look the same as this. Um, GHI and Arroyo together do make some pretty good hooking, and uh, the the brightness of the stripe here helps us to think that it, it has Arroyo in it. Also, the overall tone, the body tone here in between, um, is just not what we would really expect with a Super GHI. So it was a really good shot that there would be a Royo in this and looking at it, that's one of the ways we think that this is a Super GHI Royo. Obviously there's a lot of things with GHI and Arroyo that make it tough to tell. But let me show you a couple other examples where you can really tell you know, what a Royo is and what it's doing. So this is an example of a pastel Arroyo het clown. So pastel Arroyo het clown and Obviously, it doesn't look just like a, a pastel. So this is an example that you can see that you have these, what we call putting greens here. And you can tell it's like this outline here with the dot in the middle. You can see the putting greens, we call them, I call them. Um, this one's a good one to show kind of what it looks like. We have things that uh, our friends over at Powerline say are thumbprints or the fingerprints here. I don't want to mess with her too much. She just ate yesterday. Um, oh, now she's gonna run. So the fingerprints here would be like, be like this here on the side. You can see these thumbprints coming up. So this is one that you can obviously tell is a Royo. It's a pastel Royo, and it is 100% head clown. Let me show you a better example even than her, where it's a little bit more extreme, so you can see the difference. So this is also a pastel Arroyo het clown. So you can see still the putting greens here. You can see the thumbprints or fingerprints here. Those are really good examples. Really good examples. The popcorn belly, what Ryan says, it talks about here is this white that comes up the sides in between the pattern. It's really, I mean, this is a really good example of a 
Ah, this is of a pastel. She almost got me. This is a really good example of a pastel Arroyo. And then of course she's 100% head clown, which is also awesome. Um, but you see the hooking that happens here. She's really tense, um, which is not typical of Arroyos, like anything like that. It just happens to happen. Man, what a beautiful animal. So let's show you another example. Hopefully this season we'll be able to show you some examples of Rio clowns. Yes, Rio clowns would be awesome. So here is a male that we're working with. This is a pastel leopard Arroyo Het Clown male. So pastel leopard Arroyo Het Clown. So one thing that you would want to look for when you're looking at this, this what we were saying or why we said it's Arroyo, you can see this hooking here, which shouldn't happen with just leopard, with pastel leopards. Um, the overall color should be a little bit different in my opinion. But then also, just like all the other Arroyo stuff, you get these thumbprints. Now they're a bit more exaggerated on here because of the leopard influence, but like this one, um, where you can tell that there's thumbprints coming up. Also, I look for these, it's more, it's a little bit of a pattern here, but you're kind of guessing a little bit when you're looking, but it starts to have a look to it. So you can almost see where the putting greens would be here, but of course leopard really messes things up. And then coming up the side for the popcorn belly, you can see these spots here in between the patterns where it looks like the top of a popcorn kernel coming up. So this is awesome male. We're really excited. We'll be using him to produce our Rio clown stuff, leopard Rio clowns. Yeah. Um, so excited about that. So I'm going to show you a GHI combo that can be a little bit tricky to tell, but we can point out why we think it is what it is. So I'm going to get bit in this video. This is going to be the one. So this is a GHI Fire Arroyo. So when you have GHI by itself with Arroyo, things get a little bit tricky. Obviously the fire changes the whole color of everything. You get this bright dorsal, but we have a couple of things here that would be indicators of the Arroyo. This would be a putting green, um, which you can see pretty clearly. Then also you get the thumbprints here, which are oddly like they're you know lighter but you can see them this one would be probably an alien head but you get thumbprints like this one here and then the popcorn belly Let's see if there's a good spot here popcorn belly would be like in between uh, of course he's trying to freak out popcorn belly would be in between these you can see the little bit of the blushing coming up but also then we look at kind of the overall look of the animal so sometimes when people ask us about like oh well, why do you think this it's like it's hard to say exactly every little detail but just the look of the animal compared to what a fire ghi would look like or you know a combination of the other genes that would be in it but i think that it's it's pretty awesome looking and this this animal is is beautiful obviously so you see the bright dorsal in this and this is ghi fire you see the color difference but you don't really see any of the putting greens more banding less dorsal striping more banding less dorsal striping you don't really see any there's no thumbprints or fingerprints up the sides not a whole lot of white coming off the belly yep and uh even though she's possible arroyo i don't think that she is we don't think that she is because of the things that we're telling you there is you see the hooking but it looks different um it's and that's one of those things that's hard to explain to people also the overall tone of the animal is different this is a bit more yellow in here not as much of a blush with a burnt orange in it or burnt brown if you will the outline of the alien heads is dark but not as dark as with the arroyo in it but now i'll put her next to the male. I'll bring the male in and you can see the difference in the two. So yes, it is. it can be a little subtle, but you can see the difference in the color of the tone of the animal, the outlining. The dorsal stripe is still bright, but just different. The hooking is a little bit different. The alien heads, you know, on the sides as well as in here with the um, putting greens. 
obviously there's differences. You can also see the alien heads how dirty they are here, whereas his are a bit more clean, tightened up. So that's the difference between Arroyo GHI Fire and a GHI Fire. So people, you know, ask all these questions about Arroyo, but shouldn't be sleeping on this gene. It just takes, uh, you know, as what Justin would say, takes one good combination of Arroyo for it to like blow up. And uh, we've tried in a handful of things. We're really working with a lot this year and we're excited to see where the future is of this, these animals. Okay, so this is the girl that started it all for us. We got her from Dan Wolf. This is a, what I believe is a Rio. We think that everything she's produced has been Arroyos come out of her. You can tell the alien heads for Rios a lot of times, they're, I mean the, uh, the putting greens are all connected and she's really always been a tense animal so I'm not gonna mess with her too much but you can see the thumbprints you can see the popcorn belly here in between and the putting greens <laughs> this is the one <laughs> she's gonna get me <laughs> the putting greens here are you can see they're still there they're still showing up but they're this huge dorsal stripe here um, the color is still that burnt brownish rusty color um, this is a Rio there's in my mind there's no doubt uh, when we first were working with it it was hard for us to tell what a Rio was in things um, but looking back and trying to picture all those animals that she's produced I do think that they were all Royos it's just hard to say um, but with the Rios, you see some of these connected alien heads, things like that. Beautiful animal, super dark. And she's just really tense right now. She's been breeding. Uh, she's funny. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it, learned a little bit about Arroyos. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below, shoot us a message. We really enjoy your questions. I know that it's tough to say, hey, I found this animal, is it Arroyo? Um, I don't think that very many Breeders can say anything is definitively something, uh, minus maybe spider or something like that. But where, if you don't know the parents, you don't know the genetics, it's hard to really tell. But if you know there's a Roy in the pairing, uh, usually we can pick it out. It is some really fun stuff. We really enjoy that project. Make sure you guys comment down below if you are enjoying the Arroyo stuff or if you want to get into it. Or what do you want to see it mixed with. Make sure you guys hit that like button and also give us a little follow. Hit us, give us a little subscribe. That's on this side, I think. <laughs> so give us a subscribe, like this video, make sure you share it with your friends. So guys, make sure you're watching Herp House Rock. We have some awesome people on. We talk about lots of crazy things. Dave goes off the rails every once in a while. You gotta stay tuned for that stuff. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you on the next one. Make sure you guys are staying cool, following your zoo dreams. Ryan's wearing a zoo dream shirt. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing weird about that at all. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, see you on the next one. Thanks. Why don't we give you the update of him unboxing it? Stay tuned for that. Ah, oh, stay tuned. Why don't we give you... So let's get into... No. So let's cut over to him. Those are real clowns. Yes, real clowns would be awesome. She... Almost got me. Is she? <laughs> Keep close. Okay. And uh, yeah, watch her pals rock. I mean, come on. We have some awesome uh, people. We have awesome animals there. <clears throat> awesome animal people. We have also awesome zoo, zoobly zoo people. Okay. <laughs>